Al-Baqarah, section 12, verse number 97. I begin in the name of Allah, the most affectionate, the most merciful. قُلْ مَنْ كَانَ عَدُوًا لِجِبْرِيلَ فَإِنَّهُ نَزَّلَهُ عَلَى قَلْبِكَ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَهُدًى وَبُشْرًا لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Please declare, O Muhammad, whoever is an enemy to Jibreel alayhi salam, it is he who has brought it, meaning the Holy Quran, down upon your heart, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with the permission of Allah azza wa jal, confirming the previous books and as a guide and glad tidings for the believers. And in the commentary it is mentioned, once a Jew named Ibn Surya had intimated the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we do not accept the Holy Quran because Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam brought it down. If another angel was used for this purpose, we would have accepted it. This verse was revealed on this occasion. One important aspect we learn from this verse is that words of the Quran were revealed in the auditory manner, but the deeper mysteries of the Quran were revealed in the heart of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. From Allah, from Almighty Allah, says Allah Almighty in the translation of the Glorious Quran, Surah 75, verse 19. Then it is upon us to make clear its minute details. Those no one can claim to have the knowledge of the Quran equal to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Because Allah Azza wa Jal Himself taught it to His Prophet. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The Quran gives the guidance for the pious deeds and the glad tidings of paradise for the believers alone. The general guidance for mankind is given elsewhere, e.g., it is a guidance for mankind. Those there is no inconsistency in these verses, i.e., both verses are correct in their own context. Verse number 98. <laughs> وَجِبْرِيلَ وَمِيكَالَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَدُوٌ لِلْكَافِرِينَ And whoever is an enemy of Allah and His angels and His messengers, Rasuls in brackets, and Jibreel and Mikael, then surely Allah is an enemy to the infidels. And in the commentary it is mentioned, from this verse we learn that Hazrat Jibreel salam is superior in status to all angels as his blessed name precedes the names of all angels. As he brought down Allah's revelation, which is the spiritual nourishment, while Hazrat Mika'il salam brought down rain, which is the physical nourishment. Another important thing we learn is that the status of the teacher and the spiritual guide in brackets Piro Murshid is greater than one's parents because the body is provided by one's parents but the knowledge and guidance is obtained from teacher and the Peer or Murshid. Love for Allah's pious and beloved personages 
is showing love for Allah Azza wa Jal and to bear any malice towards these pious sages is reality expressing malice towards Allah Azza wa Jal. Says Allah in the translation of the glorious Quran, Surah 3, verse 31. Then follow me, Allah Azza wa Jal will love you. It also expounds that the true servant of the beloved of Allah, alike by Allah Azza wa Jal, e.g. Because Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam is the servant of Allah's prophets, he is held in such high esteem by Allah Azza wa Jal that his enemy, that his enemy is Allah's enemy. Furthermore, to show enmity to one angel is equal to showing enmity to all the angels. The same is with enmity in respect to prophets and saints of Allah Azza wa Jal. Verse number 99. <laughs> وَمَا يَكْفُرُ بِهَا إِلَّا الْفَاسِقُونَ And certainly we have revealed to you Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam clear verses and none would ever deny them except the defiantly disobedient. And in the commentary it is mentioned hypocrites are amongst those who are sinful and disobedient in their beliefs and action. Sallu ala al-habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 